Subscribe to Jazzy's recipes and click on the bell icon for more updates. Hello everyone, this is Jazla Ismat and welcome to Jazzy's recipes. In my childhood days, I thought capsicum bungee would be very hot and spicy and I didn't even dare to taste it. First time our grandma made for us, but when I first tasted, it tasted so delicious. To begin with, I am going to prepare the stuffing. First heat oil in a pan, then add chopped garlic, curry leaves and some chopped onions. Saute them until the onions turn translucent. Next add boiled and mashed potatoes, chili flakes, turmeric and salt to taste. Don't make your filling too spicy by adding chili flakes or chili powder. The taste of the spicy should be moderate. Then add salmon and mix well and cook in low flame for about 3 to 5 minutes. Finally, add 1 to 2 tablespoons of ketchup. Now switch off the flame and keep it aside to cool down. Now let's move on to the next step. First keep the capsicum in between your hands and rub it well to loosen the seeds. And using the tip of the knife, slip the capsicum in the middle making sure the knife doesn't touch the bottom layer. Scoop out all the seeds. The seeds carry the most spiciness in the capsicum. While deseeding the capsicums, be sure to wear a glove or use a spoon. I have taken around 15 capsicums and removed the seeds of all. Make sure not to break them while cutting or while deseeding the seeds. Now add the deseeded capsicum to the boiling water and immerse for a minute. It is because to reduce the spiciness. If you boil them, the mist seeds also will be removed when boiling. After that, pat dry the capsicums with a cloth after removing from the water. Once your filling has cooled down, let's do the stuffing. Now take the cut capsicums and place potato filling inside and use your fingers to push the filling and seal the capsicums tightly. Don't overcrowd with the filling, wipe out the excess filling. To make the batter, add 1 cup of gram flour, 2 tablespoons of rice flour, salt to taste and water as required. Adjust the water to get a proper consistency of the batter. Also, batter should not be too thick or too thin, but it should be slightly thick enough to coat the capsicums. Heat oil in a pan for deep frying. Once the oil is hot, turn the flame down to medium low. Take one of the stuffed capsicum, dip into the batter and make sure that the batter evenly coats the capsicum. Gently slide it into the oil and fry until nicely golden.
flip to the other side and fry both sides. Once you are done, remove to a kitchen towel. Repeat with the rest of the capsicums. Now my crispy and yummy capsicum bhaji is done and ready. If you make this recipe, share your food picture via Instagram by tagging Jazzy's recipes. Don't forget to share and like Jazzy's recipes. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe for more recipes. Thank you for watching.